Hey, Sasha here at Max Guitar Store and in this video I'm going to be comparing two semi-hollows we have here at the store. The Gibson USA ES335 and a Eastman T59. This is what the Gibson sounds like. Yeah, nice, Andre Eastman. Personally, I think this one sounds better, but it's got Lawler pickups, um, which are fantastic. And every time I pick up a guitar with Lawler pickups, I'm like, wow, yes, this sounds really good. But, you know, pickups can be changed and they make quite a big difference. So, yeah, you could put different pickups in the Gibson. Um, this one feels lighter than the Gibson. Maybe the center block is a bit wider on this one, I can't really see, but this one feels and sounds, the Eastman feels and sounds uh, a bit airier. Um, uh, well, handmade in China, as you might know. Um, and the Gibson is from the USA, of course. The neck on the Gibson is a little chunkier and the fretboard edges are more rounded off. Uh, and to me, that's more comfortable, but of course, that's just personal preference. Build quality is both spot on on both guitars. Um, I'm gonna play him with a little bit of overdrive.
tough one. This one costs 2800 euros, this one 1900 euros. So there's a pretty substantial price difference of 900 euros. Um, I prefer the pickups of this one, I prefer the neck of this one. Build quality, pretty much the same. But you know, when you own a Gibson, uh, it comes with the pleasure of playing a Gibson and telling people you own a Gibson. And it's such a rich history the company has, and uh, so many fantastic players play the Gibson. So yeah, I, I want to be BB King, you know, so I want, I want the 335 or the 355 or whatever. Um, but yeah, man, 1900 euros, you can't, you, can, you can't really beat it. It's fantastic. They're both good. Um, the question is, is it worth to you spending 900 euros more on a Gibson? Discuss in the comments. Bye-bye. <laughs>